you have to think outside the box. These makers are very busy and some of them work in the professional industry. So if you want to get them to make a suit for you, you have to be able to kind of work at it. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, and I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about my experiences with makers and what that means for all of you, especially because I have a lot of suits on the way. I've got a lot of things I'm about to premiere and review, so I really wanted to get in and talk a little bit about this because I do get a lot of messages and I want to kind of set some things sort of straight. But before I do, you'll notice the mustache, you'll be sense this recurring theme in some of my videos, but basically I'm raising money for Movember, which basically sends the money toward mental health and fitness as well. So be sure to check out the link in the description below so you can see how you can donate to that. So yeah, I really wanted to talk a little bit about cosplay and, and the making and the, the process of, of getting a new suit. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some things that I really want to make sure that everyone knows when they're commissioning a suit or whether they're doing it on their own, searching for a maker, watching one of my videos. Uh, first of all, you know, you wanna make sure that you have some of these things basically in your mind before you start to go down this path. I love working with the makers I work with, I'll say that first and foremost, and I enjoy the process. I enjoy getting new suits. It's one of my favorite things to do in cosplay is to get a new suit, to commission a new suit talk a little bit about it and go through the design that that all that good stuff so right into it gonna do this sort of list style so number one you have to commission at your own risk and at your own reward so always remember that whatever happens you have to you have to go with it right it's at your own risk it's at your own reward you might find something that isn't the best but you might find something that exceeds your expectations you know, it's, it's, it's your own risk. I say this especially when you're watching my reviews. You can't base your experience off of my reviews because those are my experiences. Which leads me into the second part of this. So number two is my opinions and my reviews and the way that I talk about makers, those are all my experiences. Those are what I have gone through. That doesn't mean that you're going to have the same experience that I did doesn't mean that it's going to be as easy or as challenging either. I've had some poor experience with uh, experiences with makers. You might have a better one. I've had great experiences with makers. You might have not a great experience. So you want to always keep that in mind. And that kind of leads into number three, knowing that I'm not affiliated with any of these makers. I don't work with them. I don't, um, I don't get paid or kickback or anything. Uh, I have, I have helped you know, promote certain makers, for example, Action Costumes, they they sent me a suit for the sole purpose of reviewing, but other than that, I don't work for these makers, I'm not affiliated with them, I work with the makers that I enjoy, in, in, in other words, uh, not work with them, but I, I commission the makers that I enjoy because I enjoy the communication or I enjoy the, uh, the quality, but I am no, I am not affiliated. This leads into number four. Number four, this kind of is a really important one. To put it bluntly, I can't help you. I can't help you if something goes wrong or if you can't get a hold of these makers. I have gotten, you know, I've, I've, I've had people who work with makers that I've worked with before and if they're not having a great time, they message me and they ask me to get in touch with them. I can't do that. I can't. Um, I, every time somebody has a poor experience, I can't contact that maker for you. That's something that you have to work out. I, I cannot help you. Or if you get a suit that you're not happy with, I can't, there's nothing that I can do about it. You have to get in contact with those makers and they will basically, they will be there to help you and guide you onto the next step. Now, this kind of, again, leads into number five, that I will not discuss price. 
please don't message me and ask me how much suits are or you know comment on photos asking me how much suits are i'm not going to discuss the price that's not for me to say if you want to discuss price please make sure that you talk to the people who make the suits because what i paid might not be what you pay and depending on what it is that you commission with them it's going to be something different you know depending on the type of material the amount of material i won't discuss price I will say the most you're gonna get out of me is it is either a higher end suit or it is an economy suit, uh, but I will not discuss price. And that leads into number six, which basically is that all suits are different. So even if you're commissioning the same suit that I got, uh, for example, uh, the Batman v Superman from Replica Industries, right? Such a beautiful suit. But the thing is, it's made by hand, so there may be inconsistencies there. There may be things that are different. Uh, they may need more material, less material. Like I said before, the cuts, the patterns, anything might have little variances. So if you see a suit that I'm wearing, always know that it is possible that if you're going to get another suit uh, or, or the same suit that I've got, it might vary a little bit just because of human error, human just being human, right? We're, we were not perfect. These aren't manufactured in a factory. There are handmade suits. Uh, number seven, you kind of, now this also is, is kind of important. And I don't mean to put any makers on blast. I don't, but almost, in, again, this is my experience, my opinion. This might not be the case for you, but I would say err on the side of caution in terms of how long they're telling you that something's going to take. In my experience, and in many experiences of cosplayers that I've spoken to, very rarely are, if, if you're told six weeks or 12 weeks, very rarely is it going to take six or 12 weeks or whatever the timeline is. Because these guys and, ga and gals and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they have a lot on. So, when somebody says it's going to take 12 weeks, it doesn't mean that they're going to take 12 weeks in terms of they're going to spend 12 weeks on your suit. It means they've got a backlog of other suits that they're making. Like I'm working with one suit maker right now that I've basically commissioned this suit in August. And they were like, oh no, it was actually probably July. And they were like, just so you know, we're probably not going to be able to make any kind of dent on this suit until at least April. So that's September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That's like eight months. Um, and that's, you know, that's because they've got so many other suits that they're working on. So when a, when a maker tells you it's going to take a certain amount of time, take that with a grain of salt. You know, I've, I've had plenty of makers tell me and makers that I've worked with that, you know, it's going to take 12 weeks. All right, 24 weeks later. Uh, but I, I put up with that and I, well, I shouldn't say put up with that, but I I accept that because A, I know how busy they are and B, I know what I'm going to get. Um, I'm a little bit more leery when it's somebody that I haven't worked with and, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll say that because you basically, yeah, you, you just want to, you want to take the timeline with a grain of salt. If it's somebody who keeps telling you, yeah, it's going to be next week, it's going to be next week, it's going to be next week and that goes on for some time, then that's when you wanna kinda maybe raise a red flag. I do deal with makers that are like that, where yes, 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 it's shipping today, it's shipping today, it's shipping next week, it's shipping this week, it's shipping next week, and then eight weeks goes by and it still hasn't been shipped. That turns into a problem. Like, that's, that's a whole other video when, where I will make and address makers themselves on things that they should maybe not do, like, being honest with the people that you're making suits. If it's gonna take you longer, that's fine, say that. Different video for a different day. Um, so that's, that's, that's number, that was number seven? I think that was number seven. And then, okay, so after all of that, after all of that, number eight, enjoy the process. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, one of the best things about cosplay is getting, well, okay, one of the best things about cosplay is the community. One of the best things about physical cosplay is a suit, a new suit, whether it's a multi-thousand dollar suit or it's a fifty dollar suit, it doesn't matter. The excitement of getting something new that you're excited to cosplay, savor that. 
The good thing about these suits taking longer than maybe you're expecting is you get to savor that a little bit more. Like, yeah, you know, we all know, like if you celebrate Christmas, right? Uh, I'll, I'll use this example because I celebrate Christmas. Especially as a kid or growing up, you spend all this time leading up to Christmas and it's so exciting and so exciting and so exciting. That's like the, the best part is the anticipation. And then once Christmas is over, it's kind of like, hmm, okay. So it, enjoy the lead up to when you get this suit. That is number eight, enjoy the process. So really keep those things in mind, please. Uh, the most important things are, you know, make sure that you get in touch with the makers that you want to work with. If if they're not getting back to you, figure it out. You know, for me, when I want to work with a maker and, and I'm finding that it's hard to work with them, I figure it out. Like, you know, the first time, the first time that I ever contacted Replica Industries because they weren't following me, so my messages didn't go to them and they weren't seeing my messages, I messaged Gaslight and Parallel Life Studios because I know that they work with each other. I'm not saying don't bombard any of these people with messages, but you have to think outside the box. These makers are very busy and some of them work in the professional industry. So if you want to get them to make a suit for you, you have to be able to kind of work at it to, <laughs> to contact them. Um, and once you're in, you're in, you know, but again, you know, take everything with a grain of salt, enjoy the process, try not to get too frustrated know the red flags when they pop up and remember that that maker is the only person that can help you if something goes wrong if something goes right if you're excited if you're disappointed all of it make sure that you work with them to get the best possible outcome so i hope that you have enjoyed this sort of list of things that i will say about makers and the process of working with them Make sure that you follow that link in my description and donate toward Movember. Make sure if you're if you're not already, subscribe, like the video, comment on the video, click on the notifications bell. Make sure that you stay on top of my YouTube page because I will have premieres, reviews, all that good stuff coming really soon. I've got a lot of suits coming and I can't wait to show them off. So look, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.